Welcome to the channel, Pain the Batute here with a uh, new patch 15 hot off the press Tarkov video for you for Gunsmith Part 1. So I've been doing Gunsmith videos for the previous patches. I did one for 14. I just thought I would go and do this video for patch 15 to see if there's anything particularly new and exciting in it or changes in case you try to do it the old way and uh, have troubles. So uh, let's get started. What do you need? So you need an MP133 shotgun. Uh, its ergonomics must be 47 and higher or higher. Uh, it wants a laser designator, an extended mag, less than 850 recoil sum, and that's between the horizontal and the vertical recoil and they want it to be compact, no more than four slots. So that doesn't seem too simple. That sounds actually like patch 14. But let's get going here. And so these are all the components that I've used previously to complete this video, and I'm just going to have a look and see if, in fact, you're still needing those. Um, but we'll start with where do you get the shotgun? Well, you can get it in raid off scavs. It's pretty common for them to have it. Um, the one thing I will say is if you get it off a of scav, the durability must be 60 out of 100 and above. Otherwise, mechanic will reject it. So keep that in mind. You might have to, uh, sorry, show it here. You might have to right click and repair. That's how you can get its durability back up. If it's damaged, <coughs> so you can see this durability is a little bit below 100, but I can't repair it because it's not worth repairing, it's telling me. <coughs> well, it's actually 100 out of 100, so I'm not sure why the graphic's off. But if you right-click on it, you are given the option to repair a gun, and you can bring it up to 60 out of 100, and that uh, should be efficient to, or sufficient to complete this task. So back to Jaeger. You'd have to unlock Jaeger, and that means to do that, there's a mechanic task called inter Introduction, where you have to go onto woods and go near the crashed airliner to a hideout that's used by hunters, and there's a ladder on the ground, and in the rungs of the ladder, there's a letter. You grab the letter, extract safely, and then hand the letter into mechanic, and he will then unlock Jaeger, which is why Jaeger is unlocked for me. Uh, you can then see here that you can buy the MP133 shotguns for 23,869 rubles. Uh, that's good news if you're doing the Prepor debut task because he's got a task where you have to get some scav kills and you have to hand in two of these shotguns. Uh, so buying them off Jaeger and giving them to Prepor is sufficient, surprisingly. Uh, if you have a pack of buckwheat, you can actually trade for the shotgun. So if you're at level 15 in on the flea, you could buy the shotgun. If there's none for sale, you could buy the buckwheat and trade for it. Otherwise, it's not that expensive to buy this gun. So that's how you get it. Uh, it says it wants to, you to have a shorter, no more than four spaces. So th that requires a... MP133153 plastic pistol grip. And that will allow you to have a um, shorter shotgun because you replace the stock. And then the other part is it needs a laser designator. And this is the cheapest one, the NC Star Tactical Blue Laser, available from Skier Level 1 for 5,658 rubles. Okay, so I had all this stuff from previous builds, but. Um, there's one other item here because in order to mount the stock, the easiest way to do it is with the plastic foregrip. And that is available from Peacekeeper. But until you unlock him at a higher level, it's only available from him um, as a barter. And let's see here. Uh, is it Peacekeeper or is it... Is it the mechanic? Uh, I'm sorry, it's mechanic. So this foregrip is, uh, you need a hard drive to get one. 
So find a hard drive and raid, and you can get that if you can't find it on in the game. So let's have a look at it here. It said that the ergo has to be 47 and above. It's currently at 45, so I have to, have to increase the, its ergo somehow. And the recoil right now is a combination of 381 and 290. So 400 plus 300 roughly, that's still under 850, so we're sure uh, good at that point for recoil. Um, so smaller. Uh, go here, I'll pull off the stock, put on the pistol grip. No check mark, so I'm not done. Uh, so what else? Uh, laser designator. Okay, in order to put a laser de designator on, you need to take off this uh, four stock and put the plastic one on. So hover, hover, and then if I put the uh, laser on, check mark. Item fits the uh, active gunsmith part one quest requirements. So that is quite different from last year, or in patch 14. In patch 14, you, um, so they're 48, that's above 47, and a uh, combination here of uh, 470, 350, that's only 700, so that's still going to be below 850 uh, for the recoil. Now, before to get the recoil down, you had to buy this uh, adapter and this choke and put them on the shotgun. And that would get the, um, uh, because this decreases recoil by 10%, it would be enough to get it low. But for some reason, it doesn't need that anymore. And then also you could put a foregrip on it. This foregrip allowed you to get more ergo and this allowed you to cut down and recoil. But it apparently doesn't need any of the, those this time. So all you have to buy is the shotgun, the pistol grip, the uh, trade for the plastic foregrip, buy the laser off skier, and boom, Bob's your uncle. So let's scoot over to the traders. Mechanic, task, part one. There, it's complete. There's my shotgun. Turn it in. Boom Bob's your uncle, and it's done, and now they're giving me part two, which is an AK-74U. So I will have a um, video on that. Um, it says it's, I need a 60-round mag, and I can't get those yet. Probably won't be able to buy them until the fleas open, but you can occasionally find them in raid. So it may take me a little while to get the second video uh, to you. But there you have Gunsmith Part 1 completed. Very easy, very few components to complete. Um, thank you. Hopefully that's helpful to you.